Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Mailbox. Yeah, I need a new post. I did manage to pull the old one up to four feet, but the post is really bad shape. When I put the mailbox on, I cobbled together a, a cross beam so that it would hold the mailbox and the street sign. The only problem is the street sign now has a nice catching place for snow underneath it so that whenever it snows, it obscures the street sign. You can't really tell what my address is. Makes it a little difficult to find the house for people. So I'm going to move that around to the bottom, make a few other changes to it. Hopefully have that done here this afternoon. Personal preference, I like to have a pyramid shape on the end of the post. You don't want to leave a post flat because it will draw water. So what I like to do is just to put a pyramid shape on the end of it so that the water runs off and it looks a little decorative. Now the easiest way for me to do that is just draw a straight line around it and then because I have this electronic device here it cuts 45s with deadly accuracy. And I'm fortunate in that I have a straight and square piece of uh, 4x4. This is a leftover leg from the workbench. One and five eighths from the end. Now I'm going to use a half lap in the center because I want to have a piece of the cross beam sticking out behind the upright and in front of it. I'm going to mount the street numbers on the back side of the, of the mailbox post. The mailbox is a ready target and it's going to get pounded no matter what I do. But if I can keep the street sign back a ways, mailboxes are at the hardware store. Street signs not quite so easy to find. I have to have the post stick out of the ground four feet. So if I make the post seven feet long to the crossbar, that gives me three feet in the ground, which is more than enough. Probably going to end up cutting some of that off. Ground out there is very hard. Then another foot past that for the upright behind the mailbox post. Nice thing about the 12 inch blade on the miter saw, you can go right through a 4x4 without any problem. Yeah, 
It also lets me cut these 45s pretty much any time I want. cutting by scribing a line all the way around the 4x4. All I have to do is have the blade touch the line back here in the back. And it's going to cut a nice clean pyramid shape on the end of it. This isn't exactly a miter saw stand, but it works really well as one. In that entertainment center that I found alongside the road, Works really well as a place to store the miter box too. Measure twice, cut once. That's seven feet. Just where I want it. And I want to have this beam mounted underneath that one so that the mailbox. I'm going to 
end up with a knot just below the cross piece. That should be all right. Problem with working with pine. The knots in pine, you got to pretty much consider it as a hole in the board. So it takes away a lot of the strength. But it's going to be captured inside the knee brace. So the cross beam will have the knee brace to help support it and add structure to that. And I'm a good four inches up above the knot, so hopefully that's going to work out. If not, I'll get to replace the beam sooner than I expected. Gotta make the hole just a touch white.
Now I'm going to cut the groove for the sign plate. But first I have to set the depth on the saw. You really only need to go in about a half inch. problem with battery operated tools. That's the problem with battery operated tools. They work really nice until the battery goes dead. Fortunately I have a spare battery but it's in the basement in the other workshop. Screws in good and tight. Post is ready to go up. Now it just needs to be painted. But I think I'll do that tomorrow. One completed mailbox post. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about this video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.